guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Chantel and I have a digital planner shop called paper and roses and today I thought I would take you through what it looks like for me to set up a new year and I have a couple of different resources that I use so it's not just one thing I think about setting goals maybe in a slightly different way than you might be used to seeing because I think that the big problem with goal setting is setting goals you think other people want you to accomplish and not actually reaching in and reaching more inwards and deciding what is important for you. For a lot of my goal setting for a new year, I, I spend more time journaling than I do planning. I don't think that you actually realistically can plan out an entire year. I don't think anybody can. I mean, you can give yourself themes and ideas and, and goals and things, of course, but I don't think it's realistic to plan out an entire year. I think that's a lot of pressure. What I think is realistic and very useful is to do a series of journaling reflections so that you can kind of decide what goals are actually important to you. And that is what I do. And then I make usually a vision board. I make a couple, I make my digital vision board. I use the same Pinterest board that I've kind of been adding to for a long time. But after I do all my journaling exercises, I'm like, I have a pretty set idea of what my goals are. And so then I can add some extra pictures that are reflected of the goals that I have set. And I can go ahead and, um, make very specific vision boards. I have one in my planner that I look at all the time. I usually screenshot that and set it as my phone background as well. And then my husband and I on New Year's, we have this little tradition, we stay home and I use my iPad and he uses his and we make vision boards in Procreate and then we print them out on my printer back here and we frame them on our bedside tables and they're there all year. Those are just kind of helpful for me. I love visualizing goals. So it's really helpful for me to have it in a few different places that I see all the time because obviously like I sleep in my bed. So I see my bedside table every single day. I use my phone every day. I use my iPad every day. So those are helpful things for me, but you can always think about where are some important places in your life that you can put a vision board in that might be useful for you. But before I even do that, I like to do, like I mentioned, a few little exercises that help me kind of get into a good mindset for goal setting. And so this year I decided to make a little free New Year's prep journal. This was even helpful just for me to have everything in one place. I found it really helpful when I was filling out this year. So this is my New Year's prep journal. It's in the freebie section of my website right now. I'll go ahead and link it down below so you will have access to it right now when this video is live. And I don't want you to think that this has to be done before New Year's Day. I don't think that you have to have all of your goals set before January 1st. I don't think there's anything magical about that particular day. I think of course it's nice to have goals, but big picture goals aren't even goals that are usually gonna be accomplished in one year. Um, you'll notice that some of these exercises that I have don't even pertain just to this year. It's more like a big picture exercises like where do you see yourself and what do you want for your life in five years, 10 years? Um, and are you on that path? Because a lot of the time we don't stick to goals because they're not actually that important to us. We're picking things just because other people are picking them. We're feeling inspired by other people's lives and how they live and what we think would be important based on what's important to others. And that does not work. For me personally, I journal about where I wanna see my life in five to 10 years and then I address if I'm on the path that that makes sense for you. I'm sure that you're gonna find that you feel a little bit lighter because a lot of the things that we put pressure on ourselves to accomplish aren't even things that are ultimately important to us. So I have a bunch of pages in here that I think might be helpful for you. Don't feel like you need to do them all. Personally, I did them all and I set them up in an order that makes sense for my brain. But of course, I don't think that everybody's brains are the same. So use what works for you, leave what doesn't. All of the links are clickable as well. And there's a little home button in the bottom right corner of every single page so you can navigate back to your index because I mean, I can't quit with the linking. I think it's fun. So you'll be able to reference this personal goal setting journal all year round. 
and I hope that it's helpful for you. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Then I'm going to use Notion just to set up a couple of things that I do that, that are collaborative. I pretty much like to use my digital planner and good notes and things for my personal notes that I'm not sharing with people. And then I like to use Notion in a couple of circumstances for things I share with others. So for instance, one thing I'm gonna be setting up in Notion right now, and I'll show you my process, is my husband and I have a couple of home projects we want to accomplish this year. So I'm gonna make us a shared Notion template where I can list out all of the home projects we want to accomplish, where I can put in all the materials we'll need, like what the budget is, um, if there are any time constraints with any of those projects, like if anything needs to be done specifically in winter, or if something needs to be done specifically in the summer. So we can schedule those all appropriately and then I'll be able to share it with him so he can go in and add to it and we can reference that all year round. So I use Notion for things like that and basically all my personal stuff, since I like to use a pen and paper but I like it to be digital, I use my digital planner. So that is my process. I'll kind of take you through it as I go. I hope that watching videos like this are helpful for you. I hope that you don't feel like the New Year's is a ton of pressure because I used to feel like that all the time and feeling pressure never made me accomplish anything to be honest with you. So I have found it to be so much more fruitful to think a little bit more inwardly and take a little extra time to decide what's actually important to me before I move forward. And I hope this is a helpful resource for you. The next thing um, that I'm gonna do after I set up those kinds of things are do my regular January plan with me. And you'll notice it's the same system that I have been doing for the last like six months or so because that's what works for me. But I'm really excited this year to use a dated planner. I came up with my favorite planner system so far, the basics portrait planner in the middle of this year. So I made it undated and I've been using the undated planner this past six months. So I'm excited to use the dated version of the planner and have that save me a little bit of time.
All right, so that is my 2023 plans um, so far. Of course, there's only so much that you can do um, before the start of the new year, but I hope that this gave you a few ideas to get started, to get thinking about what is really important to you in this next coming year and the years to follow after that. I am so excited for this next year. I have so many plans for Paper and Roses. I really wanna focus on this channel as well, and I really appreciate you being here. So if you got some value out of this video, please let me know down below. Let me know what you'd like to see more of in 2023. I am so excited to create content in this space. I'm getting used to creating the longer form content, so it's new and I'm excited about it. And I hope that this video, if anything, let you take away that um, I hope that this time is not a high pressure time for you that you can think about goal setting in a way that's like peaceful and calm and contributes to what you want your life to be like in hopefully what is a non-stressful way. Um, if you're looking for that freebie download, you can go ahead and click it down below. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and I will catch you in the new year. Bye.